Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Nale channel. This is the book we are going to discuss today. First things first and written by Stephen R. Covey. And in this one, what is very interesting thing I'm going to discuss about it. The example of you know, efficiency and effectiveness being mulled over very, very nicely. right? And in the quality context, right, the efficiency and effectiveness has a vital differences and both are very important and both are having a certain difference and we are going to discuss more in detail right it says efficiency is all about we all know getting more done in less time that is efficiency uh, it also about we get more done and we reduce or even eliminate the waste we are streamlined we are faster we are leveraged all these called efficiency right and in the quintessence, the essence of efficiency is more and faster. Anything more, anything faster, very, very happy to have. That is what efficiency is all about. Right? And then is that necessarily true? The answer it has given, uh, you know, in the, the very next line it has said that there is a vital differences uh, which you need to know be between efficiency and effectiveness. Right? For example, uh, it has given an example you're driving a car in a highway you wanted to head towards north of india let's say maybe delhi you wanted to go and no you were in somewhere in middle maybe you're in chennai you wanted to go delhi and what you, you're doing it actually like uh, you are having the wrong map and it is pointing towards the downside of india or it is pointing towards the Kerala and, and so on and so forth, right? That means that is even though our car is good and it's a bang on, the mileage is terrific and uh, the car has a very wonderful latest model, still will not be able to reach the destination, right? So that means efficiency and effectiveness both go hand in hand. Even though you may have a good efficiency, in this example, we have a brand new car, the mileage is bang on, the petrol is there, everything is there, but only thing is wrong direction. When you have a wrong direction, you will not be able to achieve, you will not be able to end up in the destination, right? And exactly the same thing, it says that first you work on effectiveness, right? Doing right thing, pick up the right map, pick up the right navigation pick up the right Google Assistant, right? And ensure that you are just, uh, for example, let's say some cases, you know, same places can be there in uh, north, can be there in south. That is chances is there, right? Make sure that your, your location, zoom it out, whether this location and try to see the area, try to see the location, try to see the state, try to see that, you know, the city and all that. So that you reconfirm that you are picking the right navigation. Once it is done, you can have that once the effectiveness has been ensured, automatically you can ensure the efficiency. I'll give two more examples. It, it talks about, uh, in, in the various other books, I, it talks about uh, there, there is a student who was uh, very poor and the, you know, he, very, he took a lot of efforts going to the tuitions and making efforts and all that. And then actually he was in the average of 40 and then he, he is progressively uh, doing good and then he became a 60 percentage. And then again he put efforts, I know the lot of homework he did, he practiced and all that and then he landed up 80 percentage. What happened actually like you know suddenly uh, in one particular subject again he got flunked, he failed. That means his efficiency is good but effectiveness is not good. Always remember, I'll give another example. Let's say the person who is a new joiner and he has been assigned to a task. The person has completed in day one, 10 minutes, day two, eight minutes, day three, six minutes, day four, only two minutes and so on. Day one, no mistake. Day two, one mistake. Day two, again uh, day three again two mistake and so on it goes incremental that means maybe efficiency is good but effectiveness is not good right 
So what we need to do is, even though if the person has taken the same paradigm, we'll put it forward, the same thing, person A has taken 10 minutes, day 2 again 10 minutes, but is not doing any mistake. Day 3 again, same, he has taken again, once again 10 minutes, or even more, no mistake. That means what it believes in, when you practice it in well manner, when you practice with the effectiveness, what will happen? Automatically, that you know, do it right at the first time. You will, you don't need to do any rework. You don't need. To, you will be bang on. You will be flawless, and with the with the approach and with the output output, what you can give. That is one example of that one. That is what efficiency is important. At the same time, more than efficiency, effectiveness is so important. Let me give one last scenario. Uh, and I will wrap up this talk and it says that there is a government initiative to plan the you know, to plan it, to have a plant around the city so that the city will look greener and then you know this activity the process has been divided into various activity day one the person has to dig up the soil day two the person has to put the seed in it step number two activity number two Activity number three is have a watering into it. Activity number four, close up the soil. Activity number five, have a monitoring, have a measure, have a monitoring, and so on. Day one who was supposed to do an activity, he came, fantastically dig up the soil, and then he, he ensured that all the soils in everywhere is being dig up, and this is being carried out. Day two, the person who was supposed to put the seeding in it, he didn't come up. So that activity was not being done. Day three, the person who was put the water in it, he came and he did his job. He put the water. Day four, the person who was supposed to close the soil, he came and he just closed the soil. Day five, and then they were waiting, waiting to you know the plant to grow. Nothing was grown. In this case, all the other you know the, the you know the dig up the soil has happened. And only the seeding has been missing, right? Like actually it's a process. When you say a process, you should not compromise. You should not compromise the quality. You should focus on the effectiveness, doing right at the first time. What will happen automatically, you know, this, you can have a, any greater result. So the bottom line, the underlying thing is, please focus on effectiveness, doing right at the first time. Automatically efficiency will improve. And remember the example of plantation. So, like you know, this although all this been done, only one thing is being compromised. It is like a process. When one step is being compromised, you will not get the result. So please focus on the process. And when you become a process-oriented person, you will achieve the greater result. That's what I wanted to sum up uh, with the you know, with the difference called efficiency and effectiveness. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have wonderful 